welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing... Is it number 6? Number 5? Don't know. Don't care. Of my stash status and today it's MAC lipsticks. I have very a lot of MAC lipsticks so I thought I would do another one. I actually already did a MAC lipstick. I actually did two. But I've got some new ones so I want to show you and I will just do this a little bit quickly because otherwise it will take forever. I have exfoliated my lips and put on some lip balm so I think we're ready to go. First we have Please Me and this is a matte one and this is a very nude pink. This lasts a long time on me because it's matte. I really really enjoy this for every day. It's really nice for just a simple day. Nude pink. This one is Cream Cup and it's really similar to Please Me but it's a uh, cream sheen formula so it's much more glossy and it's a little more pale pink in my opinion this is flat out fabulous and it's a matte, it's actually a retro matte this is one of my all time favorite lipsticks of all time it's kind of a fuchsia purple pink and this one lasts forever on me I can, I can go out at night clubbing and this will still be on my lips like many hours later, I have to touch up maybe once. Throughout the night, it's a really, really good lipstick and I've been using it a ton. I love this one. This is Velvet Teddy and this is a matte one. Matte is actually my favorite. This is a very brown nude, kind of like that Kali Jenner lip and like 1995 from Gerard Cosmetics. But I like this more. This lasts a long time and I think this is super pretty. Really gorgeous nude brown in my opinion. This is faux and this is a satin finish. It's a little more glossy than some of the others. Not that much but this is also one of my favorite nudes. It's definitely a pinky brown nude but there's some purple undertones in there somewhere. And I really, really enjoyed this one. It reminds me a lot of Brave, but I think Faux is my favorite. It's kind of a little bit darker in my opinion. This goes with every look in my opinion. I really like this Faux. This is Rebel and this is the perfect fall color. It looks really, really dark in the tube, but it's not as dark on the lips in my opinion. It lasts a long time on me also, but it's a satin finish and I think this is just so beautiful for every skin tone. If you're really really fair I think this will look beautiful on you too because it's it's just pretty. Now we have Angel and this is one of the most popular lipsticks from MAC. This is a uh, frost. It doesn't look frosty at all on the lips it just looks a little more glossy in my opinion. It's a very beautiful baby pinky nude. Very great for every day. It's not one of my favorites, but I've used it quite a lot. But it looks beautiful on the lips. Very youthful. This is Fanfare, and this was the first MAC lipstick I ever bought. It's a beautiful peachy pink, and it's a cream sheen, and I really, really recommend this for every beginner. It's a little more daring than Angel. Not a lot. It's a little darker, but it looks really pretty for summer on the lips, just with the tan, some mascara, and this lipstick. I really like it and you can see I've made quite a dent in it. Can you even see that? But I really like this one. This is Viva Glam 5 and it's a luster formula. It's kind of a brown, reddish nude with some shimmer in there. You can see it looks very frosty on my lips. I think it's actually a little more frosty than I remember. I don't wear this a lot but it's a beautiful nude for every day. This is Syrup and it's a luster. Also I saw Hilary Duff uh, on Instagram I think wearing this one and I thought she looked really pretty in it. It's a nude purple pink shade. Very very nice for every day. Kind of looks a little bit dark in the tube but it's really really pretty on the lips. This is Japanese Maple and it's a cream sheen. This is my favorite nude of all time. I think this is so pretty. I actually look a little bit pink now but I think it's because I've been wearing lots of lipstick now so my lips look a little bit red now but it's a beautiful nude and in the beginning I was really really scared of nudes because I thought I looked dead but now I really really like it with a really dark smoky eye and a nude lip that's just pretty. This is Hue and this is also one of my favorite nudes of all time you can see I've been using this a lot too. It's a little more peach than Japanese maple 
But again, it's a very nice everyday nude. I think it's more wearable for everyday than Japanese maple are, is. This is Vegas Vault and it's an amplified formula and this is straight up orange, more like a coral orange actually. But this is gorgeous for fall and women of color, this will look beautiful on you. I think this is also very good for my skin tone also. I think this will be pretty in the summer with a tan and again just some mascara. I really like orange lipstick actually. This one is Speak Louder and it's a cream sheen. This is like a pink berry color. I don't use this as much as I hope to do. Maybe I should, you can see I barely used it, but it's just because it's so normal, I guess, in my opinion. It's just, just a plain berry pink, like Girl About Town that I'm going to show you in a minute. It's just a little bit plain, in my opinion. I like me, this is just, yeah. A regular lipstick but I will use it more. This is Speed Dial, it's a cream sheen and I love this lipstick. It's kind of a more, it's a, it's a pink but it's more pink than like Cream Cup and Angel. It's more dark pink. It's not a baby pink, it's not a Barbie pink but it's definitely more pink and I love this one. It's a really good lipstick. I feel like Miranda sings like with the lipstick all over the place. This is Ruby Woo, it's a very popular lipstick also by MAC, it's just a fire truck red. It's a retro matte, it stays on forever. If you don't mind that very drying matte lip, this is the one to go for. It's very, very dry. But I just, I love this one. It, I think it's so pretty, especially in the winter time, because I'm so fair that it's just like those red lips. I feel like Snow White when I'm wearing it. But well, this is Girl About Town and this is again a color that I haven't been using a lot. It's a very popular color from MAC. It's a berry pink and that's why I don't use those colors all the time. I think they look a little bit off on me. I don't know what it is but I like other colors better but it's a beautiful berry pink. This is Captive and it's a satin formula. It's a very dark purple brown red. I actually like this more and more. In the beginning I didn't like it but now it's growing on me. I think it looks really pretty for winter. I have lipstick all over. But I think it's really pretty in the winter time or for fall. It's a little less purple than Rebel, for example, and I really like this one. This is a fun one. This is Heroin and it's a straight up purple. It's a matte and I wish I had the guts to wear this more often because it's just so much fun. Look, my teeth look so white. But it's so much fun, it's straight up purple. I really, really like this lipstick. I just need to wear it more. This is Candy Yum Yum and it's a, one of my favorite from MAC. It's straight up pink, bobby pink, neon color. It doesn't look neon on camera, I don't know why, but it's really, really neon. I'm so looking forward for a tan this summer, jeans and a white t-shirt and this one. It will just look phenomenal. Oh wait, and it's matte. This is the Viva Glam Miley Cyrus. It's an amplified and it was a limited edition. I don't know if you can get it still. Um, I like this lipstick. I don't use it that often. It's a pink with a little uh, <laughs> berry tones in it. I just thought it was fun to have in my collection. And I think it would be fun for summer. This is Viva Glam 3. And this is dark brown. There's a little bit of a red undertone in here, but it's really dark brown. In the beginning I didn't like it, but now that I see it now, I actually like it more than I thought I would. This one is Brave and it's very similar to Faux. It's a satin formula and it's a little less dark than Faux. I have this stick. I really, really like this. Again, it's beautiful for every day. I really recommend it if you're getting into makeup. This is really pretty. Brown pinky nude. This is Costa Chic and it's a frost. It doesn't look that frosty, but it's a coral shade. It's not as pigmented and orange as Costa Chic. No, that's Costa Chic. As Vegas Vault. But again, it's pretty for summertime and I think women with more fair skin tones will like this one for summer when you get a tan because it's a little sh more sheer than the Vegas Vault. This is Plumful and this is one of my all-time favorite MAC lipsticks. I love, love, love this one. It's very similar to Syrup but there's a little more 
berry in here which I like it's very sheer on the lips so though it looks really really dark it's not too dark on the lips it's perfect for every day it feels like a lip gloss but without the sticky texture and it's just just gives the lips a little bit of color and I, I really like this one last but not least we have Russian red and if you don't like this oh this is a map if you don't like ruby woo you should try Russian red it's a little more blue undertones and I really like this one it's not as drying either as it's drying don't get me wrong but it's not as drying as ruby woo and I think this looks beautiful look at my teeth again they look really really white and this one lasts a long time too I just change it up sometimes I wear Russian red sometimes I wear Ruby Woo and this is a favorite also I really like this one so these are all my MAC lipsticks now my lips are killing me I don't think it feels like I'm not wearing lipstick anymore I think my lips are as red as Russian red right now so I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed the swatches because huh, my lips are just burning but thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye guys